Let's say that you had this 3D mesh that you converted using a 2D image and a depth map. And for the most part, you like it. But there's one issue. I'm going to uncheck the use transparency. The background of the mesh is still there. Let me show you in solid mode. So the background of the mesh is still there. And on the back side, it's hollow. So ultimately, what you want to do is cut out that very back side of the mesh and seal it entirely. Basically, it would look something like this here. OK, so the background of the mesh is removed entirely, and it fills the backside. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that with my tool called Z-Form. But you can also do it manually by hand using modifiers. The most important part is ensuring the main objects in your scene that are closest to the camera view are not touching any of the edges of the image, like this one here. On the right side, it does get pretty close, but it doesn't touch. Ideally, you want your object to be less close than this here, but it still works for this example. If by chance your main objects in the scene do touch one of the images, you can still cut out and fill the back side of the mesh, but it's going to be more of a manual approach. I have another video on that technique, and I'll include a link in the description. And in terms of the depth map, it would also be helpful if the tool you're using to generate the depth map could generate depth maps with a transparent background like this. But in many cases, it's not necessary. I'm generating depth maps with my own tool called Depth Map Batch. It can generate depth maps for a batch of images in a directory, a video file, or a single image. But you can generate depth maps online in places like Hugging Face or set up your own local environment in something like Comfy UI. I built the tool so that I can continue my workflow in Blender and speed up processes. Okay, let's start from the very beginning. I'm going to delete everything in the scene by pressing A and then delete. Next is opening up the original image, which is this one here. Then I'm going to find the corresponding depth map, which is this one here. And then scroll down so you can adjust the depth. I'm going to leave it at 1. I'm also going to leave the subdivision at 8 and the smooth factor to 1. Then at the bottom, I'm going to click Apply Depth Map. So this is what it looks like. Let me go into Solid Mode. This is what the mesh looks like in Solid Mode. Now we're going to remove the back side of the mesh as well as seal the back side. Scroll all the way down till you get to the Background Removal section and enable Use BG Removal. This will create a new cube. It's going to be the Boolean cube we're going to use to cut out the back side. So the next thing is just scaling the cube to make it a little bit bigger than the entire mesh. I'm going to stay in the front view and press S to scale. Then I'm going to go into side view by pressing 3. And I'm going to scale the cube again by pressing SY to scale it down on the Y. Then I'm going to move the cube by pressing GY. I'm going to move it back to where I want to cut out the mesh. Any of the mesh that's inside this area of the cube will be cut out. So let's take a look. Let me get a little bit closer in the side view. Okay, everything looks good from the side view. Now I'm going to go to the top by pressing 7. Then on the front again, yep, everything's good. Now we use the eyedropper. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper and select the Boolean cube. So it's this one here. And there you go. So we've removed the back side of the mesh. There is a little bit of an issue. You can see the artifacts on the bottom here, these two vertices. That's pretty easy to fix. Let's take a look at the back side real quick. The backside is not sealed yet, but don't worry. We're going to make a little adjustment to the cube. So I'm going to select the cube, and I'm going to go into side view, kind of like this right here. And I'm going to move the mesh back just a little bit by pressing G and Y. And then move it back, and you'll see that it cuts out. Oh, it went a little too far. I'm going to move the cube back on the Y axis by pressing the arrow, the left arrow and just move it just a little bit. There's the fill. So I press Enter, and you see the entire back side of the mesh is filled. I'm going to apply all modifiers, and then remove those two outlier vertices. Now let's apply all the modifiers. I'm going to click Apply All Modifiers. It might take a second or two. OK, that didn't take too long. Now I'm going to move this back like that. We don't need the cube anymore. We can delete it, so I'm press X and delete. To remove the two vertices, I'm going to go into tab mode. Make sure in the top left you're selecting vertices instead of edges. So I'm going to select vertices here. I'm going to select this vertice here and this vertice here. And I'm going to press X and then delete vertices. And that's it. We fixed it. So let's see what it looks like in the material preview mode. 
This is what it looks like in material preview mode. Uh, it looks pretty good. Oh, there's one more thing. I should probably point out what modifiers are being used to do the cutout. So let me select the main object. On the right side, there's a modifiers tab. I'm gonna expand this out so you can see all the modifiers I'm using for Z form. So the first is subdivision. The second is displace. The third is smooth. The fourth is solidify. The fifth is also a subdivision modifier. And the last is called background remove. But in all reality, it is a Boolean modifier. And I'm using the difference and the fast solver and just selecting the cube object here to remove the background. So those are the modifiers. All right, well, that's all I got.